Hey what's going on guys and girls, in today's video I'll be showing you how you can personalize your chat GPT outputs so that it's more specific for your own tonality, your own branding and your overall writing style. One of the major issues that people face when using chat GPT is that your outputs can be too generic or too robotic and that's because it's an AI so it tries to be as objective as possible with its outputs. So in today's video I'll be showing you how you can actually train the AI on your own specific branding and your own tonality so that you can get more personalized outputs and you can do this for any use case. For the first example, I'll be training the AI on the writing style for specific emails and then asking it to then generate me new novel topics using the same writing style. One of my favorite newsletter is 5 Bullet Fridays by Tim Ferriss. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the content from the email and I'm going to paste this into ChatGPT and make sure that it's able to pull out the tonality and the writing style from this example. To do this, I've prompted the AI by saying for the following email, extract the tonality, intended audience and the writing style. So then I'll go ahead and paste that um, email copy by Tim Ferriss and let's go ahead and see what the results are from ChatGPT. Okay, so here's the tonality that ChatGPT was able to pull. The tonality of this email is informal, friendly, and engaging. The writer uses a conversational tone to connect with the readers and build rapport. Intended audience, this email is addressed to a group of people, possibly friends or followers of the author's work. The intended audience seems to be individuals who are interested in learning new things, exploring different topics, and discovering new ideas. The writing style is casual and conversational, which is evident in the use of contradictions, personal and anecdotes and informal language. The email is also interspersed with links to various resources and external content adding value to the readers. Okay, so it was actually able to pull um, some pretty good information from that email. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the AI to now write me a new email using that same format. So for this prompt, I've asked the AI to write me a new email using the same tone, intended audience and writing style, but make sure that the topic and content is different. So let's go ahead and run this and see what um, email we're able to get back here from ChatGPT. Okay, so as you can see here, we got a um, email back from ChatGPT and it is sort of like, um, I would say the example in which we had. If we take a look at the original content, we can see that the um, AI generated content does follow the same format, but as you can see, it's a little bit more concise and straight to the point while I feel like there's a little bit more um, informal text in the actual emails. Now let's try a different method to see if we would be able to get better results. For this prompt, I've asked the AI to use this email copy as a template, write a similar email with the same tone and writing style but use a different topic and I've just went ahead and pasted in um, that content from the original email at the bottom here. So let's go ahead and run this um, prompt and see if we're able to get much better outputs. Okay, so this is the AI generated content in which we got back and I think that this is actually um, really good. They followed the format but this seems to be a little bit more um, personable, it seems to have a little bit more content compared to the first um, content in which we generated. So I would recommend that if um, you want to really have the AI duplicate your style, then have it included within the prompt because I feel like sometimes the, the AI may lose context if you um, run the prompt first and ask it to understand the prompt and then run another prompt. So it might be useful to just ask it all in one prompt using this template or using this content as a template, write me a new topic on this new idea. Since we're talking about email marketing, I actually wanted to let you guys know of a new deal that just came out today on AppSumo. You can currently get a five-year deal for Constant Contact. This is one of the most powerful email automation and email marketing tools in the market. Personally, I hate having to pay yearly or monthly for my email tool. So it is nice that you can pick up a, not a lifetime deal, but a five-year deal for a really powerful email marketing tool. So if you would like to save some money on your email marketing bill, then I highly recommend checking out this deal. I'll leave a link for it in the description below this video. Now let's continue the video. Keep in mind that this is only for one use case, but you can use this for any other short or long form content in which you would like to generate a more personable content using ChatGPT. Personally, I'm not that active on LinkedIn, but let's say you wanted to create a LinkedIn post, but you want to write it in your own tonality and your own style. You can go ahead and copy one of your best performing LinkedIn posts, and then you want to head over to ChatGPT, and then we're going to use the same prompt here. So the prompt we used was using this LinkedIn post as a template, write a LinkedIn blog post using the same tone, intended audience, and writing style for a post about the benefits of working in person um, at an office. 
So that is the topic, but we've again trained the AI and we'll be pasting in an example here, which is one of the um, best performing LinkedIn posts or one that really encapsulates what your brand and your tonality and your writing style is all about. So once you've went ahead and ran that prompt, let's go ahead and take a look now and see what are the outputs that we're getting back. So this is the output in which we got back from ChatGPT. And as you can see, it did follow that specific format um, and it did actually use the same tonality and it wrote it about a different topic. So if you're trying to get more more customizable or more personable content from ChatGPT, I highly recommend you giving it some examples of what your writing is about and then asking it to replicate that with a new topic or a new idea. So that will allow you as a business owner or a content creator to have the same uh, voice and the same branding in all of your content marketing. So if you guys enjoyed this video, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. If you have any questions about anything that I mentioned in this video, let me know in the comments below. And also if you have any video topic suggestions, let me know in the comments below. As always, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.